Michael Hawkins Jr. is going to start. Let's talk about Jackson Arnold. Hell, let's talk about Casey Thompson. Why not? <laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm JJ. Thanks for watching. I like to make videos about poking fun about myself, about my team, other teams. I also like to make videos like this where it's a little bit more serious and we get into the nitty gritty of what's actually going on in college football and other sports when college football is not going on. So before we get into the quarterback situation, let's talk about Jacoby Johnson, the cornerback turn wide receiver. I don't have really much to say. I just want to get the Sooner fans a little bit neutral on their hopes because it's a cornerback turning to the wide receiver because all our starters plus like the sixth man is out for injury. Like we are depleted at the wide receiver room. It's ridiculous. Now, I'm not going to say that's the reason why Jackson Arnold is failing. Nope. Let's get into the quarterbacks. Okay, Jackson Arnold. You know, this year reminds me a lot about like the Spencer Rattler year. Kind of like that. But the problem is, is Spencer Rattler had better numbers up to this point in his season than Jackson Arnold does. So that's not good. Let's go over Jackson Arnold's numbers this year. Out of four games, he has 538 yards, seven touchdowns, three interceptions, and he's been sacked 10 times. Now here's the stat. 33.8 QBR rating. That is 110th in the nation, folks. Center fans, that, that's not good. So if you're still debating on whether he should start or not let's let's think about it for a second you know i don't think it's all about the injuries and the offensive line and the coaching i think there's a little bit of that but i think most of it's in his head i think he's rattled i still think he's a good quarterback i just don't think he's all there mentally so i think he needs to sit down for a little while and the reason why i think hawkins can help is because if you're not getting very much time in the pocket and you only got two seconds before you got to throw the ball. I think Hawkins is going to be a little bit better on being elusive. Plus the dude's a beast. I mean, the guy's ridiculous. He's a specimen of an athlete. So I want to see Hawkins. I've already gotten my little small dose of Jackson Arnold. So I want to see what the freshman has to bring in. And if the freshman can't do anything, I want to see Casey Thompson. I want to try him out, whatever. Whoever can move the ball and get a first down sounds good to me. I feel bad for Jackson Arnold, but when you look at that right there, and you see how he played in the two quarters that we've seen him, a little small sample size, but the way he gave up his body saying, I want to win and I want to score, just like Baker Mayfield did, and we, did, we wanted him to slide, but he said, nah, I ain't sliding. Heck no. And that's what we have in Michael Hawkins Jr., Kind of like what we had in Adrian Peterson. Maybe not like Adrian Peterson, but he has the same kind of, he's going to make the defense wonder if he's going to juke them out of their pants or if he's just going to run right over them. That's what Michael Hawkins brings to the table. So with a depleted offensive line and depleted wide receivers, I think he's going to help us the most. So that's it. To summarize it up, we've got an amazing defense and the future looks really bright. Excuse me. Hello, Ella. Michael Hawkins Jr. It's like he's going to help maybe put some points on the board. So if the offense can just put some points on the board, the defense is going to help us out a lot this year and get us some, through some of those games. Let's go, SEC and Boomer Sooner. Later, y'all.